Hi guys, welcome back to a new class course. So what is this class course about? Well, as seen on the title of this video, it's about React Redux Saga. And what is it used for? Um, it used, uh, basically it is a, a middleware library that allow Redux to make HTTP requests asynchronously. Uh, it's just like a sync and a wait in uh, JavaScript. So this is just a brief introduction or the definitions of the uh, Redux. So uh, I will also show you a diagram as well on how uh, Redux Saga works. And without further ado, let's now get started. All right, guys. So in the previous React Redux cross course, I show you how it works. So basically, the data can be accessible anywhere within the application when it comes to use the Redux. And I would recommend you to go watch this uh, cross course book before coming to this cross course. Um, I will leave a link in the video descriptions and you can go and watch that. Otherwise, let's just come to this diagram here. So this is uh, Redux Saga flow. So now you can see that we have the dispatch functions. So whenever that a function is dispatched, then it will go to the Saga right here. So this just acts as the middleware. So it will just uh, watch for any uh, of the function that is going to be dispatched. Now, uh, once this is uh, inside this uh, saga right here, it will just go and uh, fix the uh, data. So this is the fix functions uh, that we will also uh, be creating. And it will just call an uh, API. So once that's done calling, it will provide us or it will uh, respond back with the data. And finally, it just go to store it in the reducers. And now let's just take a look at the official website here. So this is the uh, Redux Saga, the uh, official website here. And you can see that um, this is the asynchronous that uh, we will also look into as well, the um, ES6 uh, generator that make asynchronous uh, flow easy to read, write, and also test. And there are more. So now let's just uh, quickly click on the get started. And this is the library that we will uh, be installing. And down here, this is just a simple uh, usage. Um, let me just also go through this uh, one as well. So then after this, we will create our own uh, application uh, using this uh, Saga. So right here, um, inside this uh, Saga.js, um, basically we have, the, we have to define um, this uh, generator functions as I also um, mentioned earlier as well. So right here you can notice by using the uh, function uh, with the star symbol right here. So what this does basically it just call the uh, function which is called the fetch user. And once this is called you can see the keyword yield here. Um, if you learn the async and await um, in JavaScript then you know that it is similar to the await keyword right here. So once uh, this is done calling, then it will store that uh, data, the information back from this uh, um, uh, fixed uh, user. It's stored into this user and finally we want to just uh, use the yield again and put put here mean that we want to change or update the data uh, right here as you can see the user and update it into this type called user fixed uh, succeeded. Otherwise if there's an error, then we just uh, want to uh, get the uh, message and put it into this uh, user fetch files. All right. So down here we have the uh, my saga, the other uh, generator function that we have to define. So right here it just take all of the uh, array, which is right here. You can see we have the fetch user and we use that right here. So I will also explain you uh, the difference between uh, using the take array and also uh, take let test as well. So now once we have this, we just export this uh, my saga right here. And inside the main file, uh, we have to use the uh, apply middleware and also create a saga middleware as well that I will also explain you uh, in a minute in detail. And here you can see that we need to create the saga middleware and we use the apply uh, inside this uh, create store with the uh, saga middleware and we now uh, run the uh, saga. So right here, this is the uh, one that we really need to use and the my saga right here, uh, which we uh, exported from this uh, saga as far, right? 
So this is um, the simple example, but uh, I will show you a little bit different. Uh, just want to uh, not just only having two files, but I split it into uh, several files and try to explain you again. Okay, so um, now we get to understand a little bit about this. It might sound a little bit confusing uh, what I'm trying to do right now, but uh, you will uh, definitely uh, understand everything uh, once I provide my uh, own example. So right here, this is uh, coming from the uh, previous one, which is from the React Redact cross course. Now let us uh, take a look at the code here. I will uh, quickly try to explain you this one again as well. So if um, you're not sure what I'm doing, I again would suggest you to go watch uh, my previous uh, cross course on this one before coming to this uh, cross course. Okay, so here uh, you can see in the actions, uh, we have this define, the pet increment and pet decrement with the type here. And in the reducer, uh, I have the pet counter, which basically this is the function that uh, what it going to do. Uh, we have the pet uh, increase, we want to increase this uh, and also decrease uh, by one, as you can see here. And the init slide, the state uh, by default, it is uh, equal to 10. And then I export this uh, pet counter. Uh, and now I use this uh, pet counter here. I want to combine it together with the pet favorite uh, using this uh, combined reducer. So here we also have the pet uh, favorite as well. And then uh, inside the uh, right here, the index.js. Uh, so you can see that I have import uh, using the provider and also with the reducer here as well. So down here, what I'm doing is basically I create a new store uh, with the reducer. And this is only for using uh, with the dev tool, uh, the Redact dev tool. And then I wrap this. Uh, all of the components so right here we have to uh, wrap it uh, with this provider and the store that we created uh, which is right here and inside the app.js you can see that uh, i use the use selector and use this patch and right here we can just call uh, the data uh, anywhere within the applications but right here we just call it inside the app.js uh, using this with the use this patch and here you can see I call this uh, function called uh, pet increment and this patch it here. And whenever that I click here, it will just add new uh, pet right here. It, it will just increase the number. Okay, so this is what I show you in the uh, last video. So now let me just quickly remove this um, new uh, app right here. So just to make it as simple as possible. All right, so here inside the app.js, I want to get rid of this for now. And the same for this one here. Right here, welcome to React Redux. Let's just put Saga cross course, get rid of this. And now let's just take a look again. Okay, so this is uh, what we have now. And now let's just get into uh, our cross course. So inside the uh, actions, Okay, so here uh, I want to define a new action called get users because we will get uh, new users from uh, through an API. So right here, we'll just return type equal to, let's just give this a name. I'll call this as get users um, requested. Okay, so here, this is the uh, get user request basically whenever that I make a request uh, to the back end through an API So that's uh, how I defined it here now. Let's just come to the uh, reducer folder here So we will need to create a new reducer right here. I just call this as users.js So now let's just quickly define this it will be cons user and inside here uh, through the parameter we will need to use the uh, state equal to uh, this because this one here it will be the object type so let's just uh, use this as initial state and up here we will need to also uh, initialize this one as well so initial state this will 
contain the users so for now it will be empty and we want to also have the loading as well so by default uh, while it is loading uh, we will need to change this to a uh, true uh, so by default it will be as false and error so error by default will be just set it to null all right so it will be here all of this um, next one will be the action and now let's just uh, try to create uh, the case so right here will be action dot type and inside this switch will be having the case so first one will be get user uh, requested we want to return the initial state with the loading we want to change this to true all right so while this is uh, making a request and while we're waiting for the to come back we want to use this uh, loading as true and next one here will be uh, get users uh, success so once we successfully fix the data then we want to return the state uh, loading we want to change this to fall because we have already done uh, fixing the data and finally once we have all of the data we want to use this uh, action dot users all right so it will be uh, set it to this uh, users and last case will be uh, get users fail so if something happened fail fixing the data then we want to also have the initial state loading uh, will be false and error we want to see the error message so this will be action dot message all right so as seen here and don't forget to also have the default uh, down here as well we'll return the state itself okay so quickly save that and don't forget down here we will need to export this as default will be export default user right here okay so now let's just uh, quickly close this and I want to yep quickly explain you it again so inside the action we define the uh, get user requested so right here when it is true then uh, it will just uh, return all of this set the uh, loading to true so once it done fixing the data then it will just set this to false and we also have the uh, user from the uh, uh, database as well then it will set this to the user and down here if it is full then it will just show the error message right. and then uh, this is the default which return the uh, state so next will be the uh, reducer here because we have already defined that so right here we will need to import the user so it will be uh, import users from this user and we want to combine it with the other reducer so let's just put it down here and then it will just export this to uh, through this uh, reducer now let's create a new folder so here inside the uh, source folder I create a new folder called uh, sagas and inside this uh, saga folder I will create a new file called root sagas.js and then uh, inside this folder here I'll create two new folders so one called request and again inside this saga create another folder called let's just call handler like that okay so here we have the uh, saga folder with the root saga and this is the uh, request uh, folder and with the handler folder so inside the request uh, folder I create a new file uh, so I just call this as switch users .js and the same for the uh, handler let's just also call this as fix users .js like that so inside the request here let's just quickly define the um, URL so basically uh, the endpoint that we will need to uh, uh, hit uh, and make a request to so let's just do the const URL 
so this we will need to provide the endpoint here but before that let's just quickly uh, create the function so we will call I'll call this as fix get users like that and inside here let's just do the return uh, basically we want to use the fix functions uh, with the URL and right here we want to use the method which is get uh, request and once um, that's done then we want to uh, use the then keyword down here will be uh, we get the response from it so we want to get this in JSON format and if there's an issue we want to catch this so we'll return this with the error and we want to throw the error all right like that and down here we want to export this export default uh, fetch get users like that so right here um, I want to use the arrow function so instead of uh, using this uh, function I want to just change this to const uh, fix user change this to the error uh, arrow function like that so now let's just uh, quickly uh, show you the uh, endpoint that we will be using all right guys so here you can see that this is the website which is json placeholder so this is the fake data that we can uh, use it so right here when i scroll down you can see we have a few endpoints so the one that I'm going to use is this one right here, which is the user. When I click on it, then you can see that we will uh, have this uh, information or this uh, 10 uh, user detail. So this is the endpoint here. Let's just quickly copy that and go back here. We will need to paste it inside here. So the function again, what it does, it will try to use the uh, get request to make a request and get the information as you can see here. All right, so this is the function that we define inside this uh, request uh, folder inside the uh, Saga folder here. So now let's just uh, go to the fetch of uh, users. So, so this is the handler that we will also need to uh, define as well. So up here, uh, what I'm going to do, I will just need to import the uh, call, put, and take array. But before that, we will need to install the uh, library because uh, we haven't installed that one yet so let me just uh, copy right here the command using npm or you can also use john here as well so let's just paste it here and install it so let's just uh, get it off the uh, dollar symbol here and install that okay so the library has been installed now inside again the fetch uh, users.js inside the handler folder i'll just uh, quickly import the call uh, put and this will be take every from the redux saga slash effects so this will be from down here, um, I will need to import the fixed get user, which is uh, coming from here. Will be fetch get users from the uh, fetch users, and we now get to the generator functions. So this will be a function with the star symbol, and let's just um, call this one as handle get users. And then we will need to use the try and catch. So down here, this will be catch like that. So let's just do the error. And inside this um, try uh, statement, I'll just use the const users uh, yield. So we have already seen that in the official website. So I will need to use the call. What am I calling? Well, I'm going to call this fetch get users function. So once that's done uh, fixing the data, then we want to yield another one, which is again put. We want to uh, change the uh, data. So right here, I will just call this type as get users 
um, success like that and this will be users which is the user that we get from the uh, database and then down here inside the catch I will need to use the yield uh, this one again also use put with the type I'll just define this as get users uh, fail so if there's something wrong to the uh, endpoint or the uh, database is down then uh, we'll come to this uh, catch right here and the message let's just define this will be the error dot message like that okay so this is the uh, handle get uh, users so again just quickly explain you the generator function again so this uh, run uh, asynchronously in the background so what it does it try to uh, it is listening for the action that is about to be dispatched so in this case this will be the uh, fixed get users all right so down here uh, we will need to have another a generator function let's just call this one as watcher um, user saga like that and we need to use the yield so now we will need to use the take every so for this one it will be get users requested and we will need to use the handle get users like that we will need to export the full watcher user saga from here like that right okay so now let me just uh, quickly explain you again uh, for this one so this is the uh, get uh, uh, handle get user so right here what we are doing we just call the uh, fetch get user which is right here that we define so once it is done fetching the data then it will uh, store that information into this uh, users variable and in here we will need to put it into this uh, which is called uh, get type users uh, that we defined it uh, inside this uh, user right here all right so inside the user uh, with here and then it will just return this uh, with the information like the loading uh, the user uh, right here right and if it fell then it will just uh, try to update or change the data and then uh, it will return it in here with this information here okay so now um, we have all of the information here and down here this is the uh, watcher user saga so basically uh, it will just look for the uh, type which is the uh, get uh, user requested that we have already uh, define that inside the um, here the uh, action okay so here it just map to it a uh, handler which is the handle uh, get users next inside the uh, root saga so now let's just uh, try to import uh, it should be here import this uh, basically all from reduct uh, saga slash effects down here and we want to import the watcher uh, user sagas from the fixed uh, users which is the uh, handle right here right so down here we can just export the fall uh, function this will be the uh, generator function again so let me just call this one as root saga like that and we want to yield all of the um, in this case we want to use the uh, watcher user saga so in case uh, let's just uh, say that you have a um, different handler or different uh, sagas then you can just uh, provide something uh, down here as well so don't forget the uh, bracket here so imagine if you have a different one you can just put it right here right so this is just an array and everything right so for now let's just uh, keep it as is because we only have one uh, which is the uh, use watcher user sagas like that so um, now we are ready to use the uh, root saga 
and next one let's just uh, quickly move to the uh, index.js so what I'm going to do now let me just uh, import the uh, create saga middleware from the uh, Redux so this is should be the Redux saga and import another one which is the uh, root saga from the uh, saga root which is redefined earlier and now uh, let's just uh, quickly import the other one as well which is the apply middleware that we need to use next one will be the uh, compost okay so now let's just go down here so here you can uh, quickly define uh, cont saga middleware and we use the create saga middleware okay I like that and down here let's just uh, define the middleware so this will be saga middleware uh, again for this one it is uh, an optional by the way so if you are defining something like this that means that if you are using a different middleware then you can just do comma and then a different middleware right here right but for this one we only have one so that's why I just keep it like that and now we are ready to use this middleware so to use this um, well we will need to uh, use the compost so compost should be uh, wrapped around here so it will be like that so now uh, the create store we will also need to uh, put the uh, bracket around it and we can now just cut this so basically we will need to cut the dev tool put it inside this uh, compose function and we have the create store and the reducer which is right here and on top of the uh, dev tool here we can use the apply uh, middleware which is uh, with the uh, middleware that we have here so it will just uh, spread across so if uh, we have like say uh, two middleware or three middleware then we just spread across that uh, with using the apply middleware and finally down uh, below the store we can use the saga middleware that we import up there and we can now run it so we run what are we running we run the root saga okay so now let's just uh, quickly uh, look at this again we just import the apply uh, middleware compose from the redux and in uh, create um, a saga middleware from the Redux saga and we import the root saga from the uh, root saga here okay so quickly again right here we just uh, use the um, create a saga middleware put it into this variable then if we have more uh, middleware we can put it here and I put it into this variable called middleware and here we use the uh, compose uh, to uh, inside uh, this uh, function we use the apply middleware with all of the middleware that we define up here and also with the dev tool as well so don't forget to also put the uh, bracket around the uh, create store and the reducer just keep it like that so down here we use the um, saga middle so this uh, supposed to be saga middleware not saga middle like that let's just change it up here as well okay Yep, that should be good to go. So the next step is to uh, use it. So now let's just come here to the app.js. So let's just uh, quickly import it uh, from the action. So this will be uh, get users right there, which is coming from this here. Let's just quickly go back. Next, I want to import use effects from react so whenever that we uh, load the page then it will just fetch that uh, data okay now let's just um, use the users uh, we use the use selector uh, with the state 
so the state will be state dot user so this is the uh, user user and this is the user object itself let's use the use effects down here so we use the departure will be get users right save that quickly all right so now let's just um take a look at the website here so let me just um use the dev tool let's go to the redux here so now let me just uh, refresh this and then see what happened so once the page load you can see that the uh, by default the uh, loading it's full so whenever that it try to go and uh, make a request then it turned to true but then it just stopped there nothing else happened so um, now you can see the action uh, it does uh, take uh, hit this one here the get users uh, requested so let's just uh, see what's happened here um, right here inside the fixed user so you notice you can see that the get user that we defined earlier didn't really have uh, the same one as the one that we defined inside the action here so this with s and this one here uh, without the s so let's just update this one here and save that again let's go back and take a look refresh this and yep that um, seemed to be working but one more thing is that it keep uh, requesting without stopping so now let's just go back to the app.js um, here in the use effects remember that we need to also uh, add the uh, empty array here as well like that right let's just quickly save it again go back here let me refresh this and here it is guys so we have the user requested and then uh, once that's done it will just uh, go to the next one which is the uh, get user success here the users and you can see we have the user information this is the first one up until the last one here so now we can use this um, user so because this is the array of object I uh, just need to use the user maps and loop through each users so right here let's just um, put this in the um, uh, h1 tag and then just loop through each one so user dot name I want to show the username to here let's just save that and let's just take a quick look here okay so here it is guys um, you can see I loop through um, the username so there are 10 of this and let's just uh, come back here and see this uh, consult and you can see that each call in uh, each child in the list uh, should have a unique key prop so we will need to also let's just do the uh, index the i here and i can just use the key which is i just to have a unique uh, id or key quickly save that again take a look here yep everything looks good so now uh, when you see that it when it try to uh, fix the data nothing actually showing so from this uh, we can just use the one that we defined earlier so right now I want to use the loading so this will be loading let's just uh, copy this one so instead of um, dot uh, users I can use the dot loading copy that one again uh, this up should be up here this one will be error the same this one will be error like that so now we can um, use this um, let's just close this as well so down here let's just do the uh, loading so if it is loading if that's true then we want to let's just use h2 this time show the text which is loading like that 
so let's take a look here so now when it is loading it show this and then uh, when it turn or change that to false then it just uh, disappear that okay so for the user here I can also um, update or change a little bit so the user here I can also add um, the users, users as well so basically uh, if there is uh, at least one users then uh, we want to uh, map through this right otherwise it's not going to show anything so um, yep this is what it does so let's just uh, quickly take a look here so you see that loading so once the um, the user uh, fixed done fixing then uh, it just show us um, the information here and next one will be the error so for this error I can just um, say something like if it's uh, there's an error then um, if the loading uh, is not uh, true meaning right here if um, the loading uh, is false then let's just use h2 let's just uh, display the error message like that so now let me just um, show you what I mean by that let's just uh, go to the uh, fixed user here I want to change this to something else right so this will return us uh, as false so let's just uh, refresh this and here you can see um, we have a uh, fail to fix because I uh, changed this uh, URL which does not exist so when I change this back to normal one save that refresh and now it's loading so once that finished loading it will show us a list of username let's just take a look at the reduct again so we have the action um, first one it just uh, go with the get user requested and then it will use the uh, call the other one which is this one here so the action you can see we now have this and again with all of the state by default we set this to um, uh, the empty array like that we can also use this as well to play it like that um, I think I let me just uh, update this again because I want to show you um, that in the uh, reduct dev tool here so I want to show you the fail right here okay so here this is uh, I try to request and then uh, it go with the uh, second one which is uh, get user then it's fail like that okay so um, quickly recap uh, everything that I done um, throughout this uh, cross course so the first one here I define the action which is called uh, get user requested and then I create this new uh, reducer um, so this one here we initialize all of the empty uh, data with the user the uh, loading and also the error and here you can see we just uh, initialize this by default which is the empty uh, data here and uh, we have the action so this switch here uh, action dot type um, the type here what is the type well the type is uh, get user requested so we have this uh, if um, this is the get user requested then uh, we load uh, change this to a uh, true and then uh, if it's successful then we uh, change this back to false because it's done loading and we want to uh, use the user uh, put it into this uh, user uh, object and if it's fail then it do all of this so the next one will be the uh, creating the uh, root saga so just an empty file um, right here this is the step inside this uh, folder we will need to create this uh, um, function to fix the um, users uh, through this uh, API here so just using the method which is get and once that's done we want to return it uh, in uh, through this uh, fix uh, get users and in that uh, the handler we just uh, import it up here uh, use all of the uh, call put uh, take every and uh, you can see that we have all of this that I uh, explained you as well so this put it just like uh, updating the uh, information that we get from uh, fixing the data uh, with the type here which is get user success or otherwise it's fail then it's show here 
and the uh, virtual user saga we use the take every which is the uh, get uh, user requested which has to be uh, the same as the one that we define otherwise uh, you can see that I missed uh, adding the uh, s then uh, it's not working at all so for this uh, we use the uh, handler uh, handle uh, get users and we export it there so I will uh, need to also explain you another one which is the latest but let me just uh, finish uh, explaining you this one first and here this is the uh, root saga if you have uh, more than one uh, watchers or one uh, function here then uh, you can just put a command and add more here so then uh, the inside the uh, index.js uh, we import all of this up here right uh, with the root saga as well and what we do here uh, we just use the uh, me, uh, saga middleware put it into this if you have more than one middleware you can also add it here and the store we have the compose um, which uh, we just uh, move this uh, dev2 extensions uh, up inside this uh, compose uh, the same for the apply middleware and we wrap this uh, bracket around the um, create store with the user here and finally we just run this uh, middleware which is uh, watching this uh, saga here right so we just uh, run that uh, middleware and uh, finally um, inside the app.js we just uh, import the get users uh, from that action then uh, we you can see here we use the uh, use effect which then uh, the patch um, this uh, action um, this uh, get user here so um, now uh, once we done fixing the data and everything then uh, it will just store it in this uh, variable called uh, users loading and also with the error as well and we just display it right here to the uh, screen so um, yep that's uh, how um, basically uh, the Redux Saga flow works. Um, now let me just uh, quickly go back to the uh, handler here. So instead of like every here, I change it to lattice. Uh, also before that, let me just also go to the uh, app.js as well. So let's just imagine I uh, copy this right uh, two times like that. This patch this uh, the same action two times. Let's just save that. Go back here and let's just refresh this. And now let's just uh, take a look. You can see that we have the get user requested uh, twice and the same for get uh, user success also called twice. So that's because we are using the uh, take every. But now let me just uh, try to add another one. Let's just call this as take lattice. Let's just copy that and put it down here. So now let's just take a look again. Coming back here refresh and now you can see that the get user success now only uh, call once right because um why what happened we use the uh, take letters it only take the latest one but not um, every uh, request that uh, we use okay so um, that's how uh, the difference uh, between the take um, array and take letters so now let's just uh, go back using this one here and let's just refresh that again so yep that's back to normal but this time i'm using the uh, take lattice okay so um yep that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, cross course guys i hope you learned a lot from this uh, let me know any question that you have in mind and subscribe to the channel if you uh, think that this course is uh, valuable and you learn uh, from this and let me know if you have any uh, suggestion as well. Uh, until then, see you guys in the next video.